Shalom. Um, coming to the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, Hashem, Rakhakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, and salutes unto the Akim that continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. Just coming back at you with this quick impromptu video, and um, I'm not too sure I'm gonna entitle it, but for now, I'll I'll, I'll call it the dead don't know anything. Okay, the dead don't know anything because um, you know I've heard it before. You know, family will say it, certain members of the family will say it, or, you know, people you, you're around will say it and stuff. You know, when somebody dies, okay, it's, it's somewhat of a comforting word that, um, you know, that person's looking down on us and they're praying for us or they're watching us or they'll become our guardian angel and stuff like that. And, um, <laughs> you know, that may appeal to the flesh that, yeah, you know, he's still there, she's still there, you know, looking at me from above and all of that stuff. That may comfort somebody. Th those words may comfort somebody. By the end of the day, it's not true. Okay, you know. And, um, you know, it's been playing on my mind, you know, all the times I've, you know, kind of heard that. And, um, you know, it's a falsehood, man. Okay. And, um... <laughs> It's in the scriptures, okay? You know, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and 5, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know that any... not. But the, let me read that again. So like, For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Okay? So let's read that again. For the living know that they shall die. Yeah, we're alive. Okay? Now... In this lifetime, you know, you know, I don't know of any brother that is praying for death. You know, most of us in this truth, we 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 tend to pray that the Lord sustains us so we can see, you know, his his return, man. Okay. Now, if we have to die beforehand, or we have to die for whatever cause, or we have to die as a martyr for the truth's sake, then we say, bring it on through the Spirit. You know, we 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 pray that that the Lord keeps that Spirit upon us, man. You know, but the the point is is that when you're alive, you know you could die, man. Okay. Because it's the most side that controls, you know, <laughs> everything, man. He's the one that the scriptures tell us that a leaf, you know, can't fall from the tree or a bird from the air without the father's um consent. Okay? How much more a life? Alright? You know. Your life, my life. Okay? And it's about, that That instills fear, man, okay? I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, you know. You should always say, Yahara Azar, man, Lord willing, okay? Abara Azar, if the Father wills, man, okay? I'm doing this video right now. I could just drop the phone and die. That would be because of the Most High, man. There's no assurity for the next second, let alone the next minute, hour, day, or month, man, okay? Or whatever measure of time. So we all know that, hey man, I could die, okay? But we, we know that, why? Because we're currently we're in a state of uh, living, if you will. Now, living in a term of breathing, because as Apostle Gobar says, this ain't living, this is existing, okay? But the dead know not anything, okay? So when you die, okay, when your spirit departs from your from the body, okay, the, in the Latin, the bodic, the house, which is these chains of darkness, the flesh, when your spirit departs from that, okay, you, you, you don't remember anything, man, okay? For the memory of them is forgotten. Yeah, you, they don't... Dead, but when a person is in the spirit realm, they don't remember the things of the, of the flesh, man, okay? They don't remember being on the earth. They're now resting, man, okay? Because they, they've gone into the, the spirit realm. This is also in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Father who gave it. Okay? Because this, Yahweh is what? The Father of spirits, man. Okay? So when, when the spirit leaves the body, then what happens? The dust returns to the earth, meaning that the body, uh, the body um, deteriorates. Okay? You put it in the ground and it deteriorates. It becomes a part of that soil once again. You know? And they always say that um, a house not lived in 
looks um, degraded. Is that the word? I believe so. But a house not lived in looks run down, basically. Okay? Because when a house is lived in, you can just walk into the house and say, yeah, there's life going on in here. There's people moving around. They might not be in here right now, but I can tell, you know, there's people moving around in here, man. There's something going on. But when you walk into a house and it's just airy and cold and everything, you can tell, man, the house that is run down is a house that's not lived in. That's a common saying over here anyway, you know. So when the spirit leaves the body, okay, the house runs down. The body deteriorates, man. Then shall, that's what it means, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. And the spirit shall return unto the father who gave it. Yeah, because a spirit, you can't destroy a spirit, man. Okay. A spirit is pure energy. And in physics, you, you, you learn that energy can't be destroyed. It's only um, passed on into another form or another realm. Okay. And the spirit of a man, okay, and when I say man, you know, man, woman, boy, child, boy, girl, okay, a spirit is a spirit regardless, in a young body, in an old body, in a female body, okay, or in a male body, it's a spirit, alright, and you can't just destroy a spirit, so what happens, the spirit goes back up into the, into the, the third dimension, the spirit realm, okay, it's judged before the heavenly father, Okay, and then it's put, you know, it's just resting, man. Okay, now don't ask me, you know, the um, <laughs> where exactly in the spirit realm do we, hey, listen, we, we, we know in part, so we prophesy in part. We know that the spirit goes back to the heavenly father, is judged, okay, and then that judgment will take place when the Mosai sees fit for that spirit to come back on the earth as a newborn baby. Okay, and that's that, man. You know, you know, that's that. Okay, but as for when somebody dies, man, they don't know anything, man. Okay, and as the Apostle Taha always says, man, you know, if <laughs> if the Most High gave the option to somebody, hey, do you want to go back down there for, you know, a little while longer, I can, I can, you know, you're dead now, but I can put your spirit back in your body, you know, make you look like you're in a coma or whatever. Well, I could just raise you from the dead, you know, be, it'll, it'll be, you know, supernatural, unexplainable to them humans down there, but, you know, <laughs> I, I can just put your spirit back in the body, you know. More, you know, 10 out of 10, people will say no, man, okay, because in the spirit realm, there's no pain man okay there's no strife there's no getting up early in the morning there's no pain there's no anger there's no um hurt okay it's it's perfect rest man okay you know it's perfect rest that goes for all nations that go for israelites that goes for edomites that goes for hamites everybody man when you're in the spirit realm you're just resting okay that's why when you come down on the earth um you know you, 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 you live out the judgment that you receive from your, your, your previous life, man. M most times in the third and fourth generation. That's according to the scriptures. Okay. You know. And that proves that, the, that also, as as reason as to why the kingdom will be on earth, man, will be established on earth. Because you Edomites, man, you know, you, you're going to pay in the flesh, man. Okay, your spirits are going to be, and we're going to have that power, okay, you know, that we could summon, you know, if, if an Edomite dies, we, we, you know, we beating him in the kingdom or whatever, and he dies, man, we could summon that spirit, nah, mate, come right back down into this body, because I ain't done punishing you yet, man, okay, you know, because in the spirit realm, there's no pain, but in the flesh, oh boy, oh boy, man, the scripture says uh, meditate terrors, man, you know. I could keep going on and on and on, but I've proved the point, man. These two scriptures, Ecclesiastes 9 and Ecclesiastes 12, man. You know, the dead know nothing. So all of this, oh, yeah, he's looking down on me. He's smiling. You know, he's my guardian angel. It's bullshit, man. 
Okay, no man of the Lord, you know, if you hear somebody saying that, you shouldn't be, oh, yeah, sister, yeah, he's dead. No, because you're lying now, okay? You know, we, and, and, and you know, if somebody says that, okay, I'm not saying, you know, go and open your mouth and correct them. Nah, man, it's best to stay quiet, okay? Let not your right hand know what your left hand do with, man, okay? You know, if you're around a family member and they're saying that, you, it's best to stay quiet. Don't start pulling out scriptures and, oh, no, well, I know you're mourning, but according to the scriptures, this, nah, man. Okay, it ain't for them, man. Okay? By the end of the day, in terms of believing it or agreeing with it, don't, man. Okay? Because that's scripturally wrong. When you die, okay, you don't know anything, man. And you're not watching down on anybody, okay? When you die, you get your judgment and you're waiting. Anyways, with that, I'm going to say shalom.